Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC bringing you more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. So in the last video we got a lot of shit done. We finished making our way through the Space Pirate base here, where we ended up encountering Dark Samus for the first time just back that way. And, as you can tell by the indicators there on the right side of my HUD, we ended up picking up two new beams. We got ourselves the Light and Dark Beams. But unfortunately both of those use ammo, so that kinda sucks ass. But what doesn't suck ass is we also ended up picking up the final Dark Temple key of this area. Excellent! So now we can actually head to the temple in the Dark Aegon Waste, and reclaim the energy there, and bring it back here to the Light World. Excellent! We're making progress, baby! I like that! Ooh, shit, I don't like this, though. Fucking Metroids are loose in here. It's like, get moving, girl! Let's get the hell out of here! Alright, might as well stay as a ball here. It's because we gotta activate this bomb slot again. There we go. And then just through this doorway. But before we go into this room, let's go ahead and get out our dark beam and charge up a shot with it. Because since we walk over this way... Hey guys, how you doing? Well, probably not that well. They're probably pretty pissed off. Yeah, there we go. Ended up taking him out. Yeah, if you hit him with a charge shot from the Dark Beam, it'll actually have the same effect as uh, the Ice Beam from the first Prime game. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, the only thing that sucks is it uses up a lot of ammo. So let's try and get that balanced with the Light Beam again. Okay, now before we drop down off of this platform, we actually want to head over here. Because we have this Dark Beam doorway that we can open up. And hey, check out what we got hiding in here. We got ourselves a missile expansion. Excellent. Yeah, definitely could be using those, because I'm only at 35 missiles right now. Yeah, look at this room. They're fucking neat. I love all these little details that they throw in that they don't need to, you know? It's like, that's just a little side room, but it has all those cool machinery and shit in it. Alright, so now let's get heading out of here. Alright, fuck you lasers. And you, turrets. I don't need your bullshit. So I got enough things trying to shoot me here. Like these guys. Uh, there we go. Wait, you're still alive? Oh, fucking die, would you? Man, my aim is terrible. Right, where's this guy at? Let's take care of him first go. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> of course he couldn't get away without tagging me one more time. Alright, so go ahead and take this lift up to the top here. So we want to make our exit out of this uh, doorway up here, and you'll see why here soon enough. Let's see if I can get a little bit of energy back. Eh, I don't fucking care. It's not too bad for us. Alright, let's go ahead and use our light beam to make our way through this tunnel. There we go. And yeah, before we end up dropping down here, if you remember the first time we came to this area, we had space pirates shooting at us using these turrets. Well, if we end up walking into the hologram here... Ah, look at this, we can actually control the turret now. So there are a few things that we want to shoot at here. You see this thing in front of me, right in that reticule? Yeah, we've got these crates with little canisters on the side. If we end up shooting those with the turret... Ah, look at that, we can end up blowing them up and opening up pathways. Uh, unfortunately, it's also going to piss off the space pirates a little bit. Right, let's destroy that thing so I can get the C better. Now, this isn't the easiest thing to shoot either because the controls are inverted. Alright, we destroyed those two. So before we get moving on... There we go. Let's go destroy that one down there. Because that will drop that skiff down for us. And that will allow us to jump up onto these pillars. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happens, because you saw when I was using the turret, it had a life bar there. I'm not sh uh, sure what happens if that ends up getting uh, down to zero. I'm pretty sure it just gets destroyed for a time and you take damage. Alright, before we get moving on too far, let's go ahead and scan this guy here, because we got ourselves some new lore. This is two hunters. Let's go ahead and give it a read. Another hunter, wearing the traditional colors of Samus Aran, made planet fall today. Horrific as it may sound, there are two of them now, 
We are bracing for a new assault. This dire turn of events may bear some good will. One of the scouts in Dark Aether saw a curious encounter. The Dark Hunter attacked the one clad as Samus Aran near a Phazon site. Perhaps they are not allies, but foes. Perhaps we can forge an alliance with the Dark Hunter. In exchange, Phazon for the head of our common enemy. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I'll wait right here. It's like I'd rather be shitting my pants and running away with a full load than dealing with that crap. Okay, so now let's just roll into this little room here. And, ooh, look at this guy. Let's go ahead and nab it. This is a beam ammo expansion. Excellent. So now with this, our maximum dark and light beam ammo went up by 50. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, you can see we're up to 100 for both light and dark beam. That is so much nicer. Okay, before we get leaving this room, let's go ahead and scan this Luminoth body here. So we got ourselves a new lore. This is Justil's Testament. Let's go ahead and read this one, too. My journey comes to an end. The thrice-cursed Ing prepared an ambush of singular cunning in the mining station. They caught me in it like a neophyte fresh from the training halls. I have sent five score of their number to whatever foul pit they call the afterlife, but in vain. My life is extinguished. God, such passion and drama in that statement there. Well, I guess you're gonna get that way if you're about to die. Okay. So let's go ahead and get moving on out of here then. And jump we go. And through this doorway, let's go ahead and get out the dark beam. Gotcha! That fucking assholes move so much, it's hard to hit them like this. Yeah, if we end up killing them with the dark beam, though... Yeah, they won't do their kamikaze bullshit at us. So that's rather nice. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get some dark beam ammo back. There we go. Not too much, because it's not really going to matter right now. Okay, and we actually want to head over this way. Because we're going to be making our way to the, towards the dark portal to get back to the dark Aegon Waste here. Alright, let's go ahead and use this kinetic cannon contraption to make our way to the other side. Yep, there we go. Alright, and back out to here. Ooh, let's go ahead and destroy these guys first. I want to deal with fucking wasps, man. I already deal with their shit in real life. Okay. So up we go. Let's go ahead and scan that. And into Dark Aether we go. Here we are back in the Dark Aegon Waste. Let's get moving on then. Alright. Let's just go ahead and activate these beacons because we want to head up towards the right here. That's the fastest way to get towards the temple. Yeah, I'm not too extremely worried about my energy, and you'll see why here soon enough. But we do want to make sure, as per usual, not to take too much damage. Yeah, they didn't drop anything. They're being a little stingy on the drops today. It's like, what the hell? Okay. So we make our way up top here. And we got a save point in the room behind me if you want to use that. Get your energy back up. But I think we're doing pretty good here. There we go. Yeah, I got a little bit of energy out of that. Not a whole lot, but... There we go. And through this doorway here. Go ahead and get these beacons activated. Alright. And through this doorway, here we are at the Dark Temple. Now that we have all three of these keys, we can step into the aura here. All 
right, there we go. The pathway is now open to us. So let's go ahead and see what awaits for us. Why, hello there! We got ourselves a boss fight! Let's go ahead and wait till he pops his ugly mug up. Oh, damn it, he's too far away! Yeah, we want to make sure that we scan him and see what he's about. Alright, there we go. Alright, now this guy is a Morbus, gigantic tunneling guardian. Yeah, they'll be jumping around the map here. Uh, causing quakes and shit. And if they hit you, they can cause you a lot of damage and knock you out of these safe zones. So you have to be a little bit careful on that. Da -da -da -da. They have vulnerable all forms of weapon fire, but incredibly strong and resilient to pain. Yeah, they have a little outer shell on them that we have to take care of. Let's go ahead and lock onto this dude when he pops out. Yeah, you can see that, uh, dark shelling around him. Well, if we end up hitting him, we'll start breaking off pieces of it. Yeah, that's the re main reason I wasn't too worried about my energy, is every time that we break off a piece of his shell, um, he drops, like, energy refills and such. Alright, come on, get your ass over here, buddy. I'm going to be playing this fucking game with you. Alright, there we go. Now, once all of his armor's broken off, you want to make sure that you get out the scan visor again, because he'll attach himself to the orb here. And he'll turn into a Dark Amorbus. See, now he has armor, beam weapons, and all sorts of shit that is really annoying to deal with. See, weak mo uh, spot and mouth detected. Concussive force will deliver heavy damage to it. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, they attach themselves to the dark sphere in the center of the room here. And they can also shoot out energy that can nullify the safe zones here, like the light crystals. So you have to be a little bit wary on that. Because, yeah, if you're out in the atmosphere too long, that's going to hurt you more than what he can do to you. So, da -da -da. so yeah, kids twice that it said it has a weak spot inside its mouth. And you're like, well, right, well, how the hell do I do with that? Well, what you want to do is tag him in the face of the charged light beam shot to break his horns, roll in a ball, and do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, once you break those horns off his face, he'll uh, try and suck you up. You just roll into a ball, so he uh, absorbs you into his mouth, and then you just set a bomb in there. And they'll get you on to the next phase. You see, each time that we do that, they start cracking the orb in the center of the room, too. Alright, come on, guys. Get a little bit closer than that. Ooh, I ended up tagging him. Oh, that's too close! <laughs> yeah, if you just step out of the field for a little bit, you won't have to worry about them hitting you with that shockwave. Alright, I think they're down to just one shell part each. Yeah, that guy's done. Yeah, there's three of these guys total, as you saw in the cutscene. Ah! Yeah, at this stage of the fight, there's only two right now, though. Alright, there we go. Here are these guys popping back up. Let's go ahead and hit him. Break those horns off. And set a bomb in his mouth. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you can deal with these guys fast enough, you won't have to worry about their uh, beam attacks or anything. There we go. Excellent, we're doing some pretty good damage here. Yeah, let's head around here. 
because they drop some good shit there. They drop a lot of ultra energy as well. That will refill an entire energy tank's worth of uh, hit points for you. All right. Well, I need one of you to get a little bit closer. Oh shit! I saw you coming up on me. Yeah, all three of them are in the playing field now, so it can get a little bit busy. It can get a little bit difficult to track them by where they're at. I think that guy's done. Right, you're correct. Oh, I actually ended up tagging that guy. That's cool. Alright, that guy's done. Alright, same with you. Now, once they pop up here. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy. Since he's the closest. Alright, bomb his ass. And quickly roll over this way. Do the same with you. Alright, that just leaves with this guy over here. Just pop up. Tag him and finish his ass off. we have here. Let's go ahead and check that shit out. With that, we have acquired the Dark Suit. Yeah, now the damaging effects of the atmosphere in Dark Aether will be a lot less damaging. Yeah, this suit... Oh, look at that, we also got the creature package. Yay! Who the fuck cares? Yeah, this suit is kind of ridiculous looking. It looks like I'm wearing fucking brake hubs on my shoulders. But, it is a cool suit in the fact that once I stand out here... Yeah, look at that, it doesn't drain my energy near as fast. It almost keeps up with the recovery rate of, of these light crystal fields, so that's kind of nice. So now we can explore a little bit further and not have to worry about taking too much damage. Alright, so we'll just get rolling over here, head out this way, and there's our first dark energy controller. Let's go ahead and reclaim the energy from it. Alright, energy transfer complete. Return the energy to its temple on Aether. Excellent. You know, I always thought it was a missed opportunity here, that now that I have the fucking energy of a planet within me, that I don't get, like, powers for a limited time while I have it. That'd be kind of badass. Yeah, 
All right, there we go. Yeah, you can just imagine that, like, your beam would hit harder or something like that, or you'd be taking less damage or, or just something. That'd be kind of cool. All right, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> Don't have time for your ing bullshit. Yeah, you can definitely tell they're not happy about that. All these enemies are coming out now. Alright, back through here. And we just want to head across this room now. Alright, get up there. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's destroy that light bringer. Okay. Yeah, he dropped a little bit of energy. Not that I need it now. Because, yeah, this suit is seriously really nice. Because how fast you were losing health before, it, it was like a real problem. Alright, let's go ahead and get out our light beam. Because, yeah, these fucking pirates are not going to make my life easy. And if we hit that crystal there... <laughs> look at that. Fucking fried them all. That's hilarious. Alright, well, let's see. We need the dark beam out. Now we can get some light beam ammo back. There we go. I'll try to get a little bit more here before I move on. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, let's go ahead and scan the portal again. And back into the Light Aether we go. Yeah, there we are. So now let's just make a beeline, no pun intended now that I'm killing these guys, right towards the temple for this area. Okay, so up this way we go. And back through here. And up. And up. Seems like kind of a stupid way to get through a room, but whatever. Oh, let's not roll back into that. I don't know how many times I did that when I was test playing. It was fucking annoying. Ah, oh, speaking of fucking annoying. These guys! There we go, kill your ass. I can't see anything! Fucking sand in my eyes. Yeah, there we go. Just wanted to take care of them. That way makes crossing the room a lot easier. I have to deal with that fucker. Okay. And back over here. Die, just fucking die, guys. Ah, Fucking the shriek bats are annoying in this one. Okay, so let's just roll across the room. Yeah, I got wasps there that I don't want to deal with. And back through this area. Okay, so just get on rolling. Oh god, the camera! <laughs> Can't tell what the hell's going on. Alright, here we are at the energy controller. Let's go ahead and return the energy to where it belongs.
All right, energy transfer complete. This temple's energy has been restored. Excellent. One of three down now. That is fucking badass. Yeah, I just love how she just shoves her goddamn arm cannon in there so hard. Like, she's like, oh, I'm gonna fist the ing with my arm cannon and blow him up. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? It's like, is that really necessary? All right, so now let's get heading on out of here. Alright, there we are. And roll back on through here since it's much quicker this way. Yeah, you have to wonder how fucking powerful is Samus's suit if she can store what is essentially one third of a planet's fucking energy within it. It's like, goddamn. You ever think about that until you step back for a moment? Nope, fuck you guys. I'm out. Okay, back through this tunnel we go. Bomb that one more time for old time's sake. And then just roll our ass down here. And we'll head to this save point. Yeah, we are actually done here in the Aegon Waste for the time. So that is really nice. So what better way to commemorate that by saving the game here? Just like so. So what awaits us in the next area that we travel to here on Aether? Well, we're gonna have to find out in the next video, so stay tuned for more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes.